Cow getting uh, chased by the fisherman in the kitchen. He's gonna stab him. He's actually the only one, except for the protagonist, who actually gets to the fisherman. So we have to commend him for that. We're working this out as uh, Don Shanks, uh, the legend. Uh, incredible stuntman is coaching uh, David through the scene. As you see, they're working it out, and uh, you'll be able, obviously, to compare it to the film footage. But exciting stuff. Even at 2 in the morning, we still stay excited. He's very energetic and he's got a really, 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 really cool eye. And you can just tell he's like, he's really, like every day you come in, he's like really excited about the different shots and stuff. And you just feel that it's going to be like really cool. The other night he did this really cool shot where he brought the camera up like on top of me. And I just, I don't know, like I just envisioned the way it's going to look and it just seems so cool. And like doing it, it was just so intense. I love doing intense stuff and it was so intense and like, I don't know, being killed was like, it was really fun. It's probably the most... Ready and go. Um, how about working with our director Silva? He's awesome. Very cool. He's got I, a vision, you can tell. Oh, I like how he pumps everyone up, like when we were running away, you know? I don't know. He's, good. He's goofy, <laughs> he's fun. He makes you feel comfortable. Yeah. Alright, cut, thank you. Savan, the director, is bringing a lot of kind of new ideas. It's kind of fun. You know, we get a lot of energy from him, and you know, sometimes I'm, I'm wondering what he thinks I can actually physically do, <laughs> but uh, it's fun trying to do it, and so far I haven't disappointed him. You guys meet Don Shanks? Oh yeah. The legend, the man, the hero. I kicked his ass last night. Yeah. I promise not to tell anybody. <laughs> That's only in his dream. Ouch. <laughs> and he had to wake Ouch. up and apologize to me. Oops, I gotta go. Yeah, you know. 
always about um, making the script your own. That's the first phase. Once you kind of, once you have the job, once you're 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 in the director's seat, um, first thing is to take care of the screenplay. I have my own way of shooting things. Uh, I I never try to really apply my style to material. I always try to, to find what is the best style for the material. So my body of work is very eclectic because of that, which can be a positive and a negative. Because uh, a lot of people, a lot of times, people want to hire you for a specific look. But I try to stay away from that. So I really try to get into the screenplay and, and, and into the story and, and the characters and, and trying to figure out what the best tone and the, the best um, sort of sensibility uh, would be for this, this sort of material. We're gonna start tight on your face, and the camera's in the, in the uh, shotgun is not up yet. When the camera comes back, it gets close to the mark. That's when you cock it and shoot as it hits the mark. See, there's, there's what I think are actors, directors, and technical directors, and he tends to be actually a really good mold of both. He knows camera, like he understands he's got cool angles going on, and um, but at the same time he's able to relate to the actors. There's some technical directors that just uh, uh, do it again, just uh, different. Okay, rehearsal. Ready? Yep, and sir. camera up and now. It's, it's a reverse of what we did earlier. But the timing still the same, meaning from down to up with the camera moving. It's just half the degree. Exactly, the camera's moving back. Hey, watch this. Right. Watch this. Um, let's bring the camera into one. Camera! Up! And! Up! And! Here we go. One. Fire in the hole! And! Rolling! This is some classic Sergio Leone shit. Exciting. I mean, a lot of times I'm, you know, I, I when I'm when things aren't going well on the shoot, for example, I I sort of try to sit back for a second and and remember the, that I'm from Paris and you know I'm, and I'm all the way here in the United States and in, in Utah and Park City and I'm shooting a movie, a Hollywood movie, and 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 I try to put things in perspective and think, well, you know, when I was 12 years old, I would have never dreamed that this could happen. So. Um, you know, that sort of helps me uh, get through the day. So, yeah, I mean, it's great. It's fantastic. I mean, I'm working with a great, great uh, director of photography, Stephen Katz. Let me cut. Because what I do is I do a digital crash zoom straight back in to this. And he's here. Yeah. Do you get the effect? Yeah. Do you, do you, do you get the scare? Yeah, I did. Was I scared? I'm not sure. But <laughs> then you put him in for the over there? Well, we put him for the over, and then he's in the over here again. You just travel 30 yards, and you're just doing it. Remember that way. business about a nice, okay. simple shot? You're just, just to get this done and get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, right. It's going to be very simple. Is that 5K on? Very simple. Sylvain Blanc, he, uh, honestly, he's changed my life. I think, basically, now I'm going to dedicate the rest of my years to honoring that man. It's, it's brilliant. He's a legend in the making. I'll say that I knew him when.
Yu-Gi-Oh. What's up? Let's go. Well, what's interesting is we start off with um, with four friends. They're um, brought together by, I guess, their aspirations of wanting to get out of a small town. Unfortunately for these um, good intention teens, uh, their prank goes horribly wrong and one of their friends dies. He's an outdoorsy guy and he, you know, he he's in love with this girl. And he's been in love with her for so long. Story of my life. Uh, uh, and he has, you know, this sort of this opportunity to get closer to her, or he's kind of thrown into this position. And I think, you know, he's just a great guy, and he's kind of the hero, kind of. With your mouth full of food. Hi. I play Colby Patterson. Colby. This is me going from David to Colby. <laughs> and what is Colby? Who is Colby? Who's Colby? Yeah. Colby's the Colb star. What are you talking about? Who's he's Colby? Who the f are you? No, he's a wannabe. Uh, look at him. I mean, look at Colby. I mean, really. Could you take a guy like this seriously? When I read the script, I really enjoyed the character. I think she's really fun to play because she's a lot more um, edgier than a lot of characters I get to play. And I liked her style and I liked her attitude. She's sassy and fun and just more hardcore than I am. She's a singer in a band, in a punk rock band, which was really fun to do because I've always wanted to be a singer in a band, but I can't sing for anything, so. Ben Easter, you know that guy's got really blue eyes. Coming together is just so exciting. But then when you really start to see like everybody's creative sides and you know the way that they're adding in their whole like passion and everything, it's just wild how it sort of meshes together into this whole deal. Brooke Nevin? Yeah. She spells her name with an E. We're just a really great match. I think um, sometimes you're lucky enough to be able to, to get paired up with um, like-minded personalities and, and we're all in it to have a really good time and we support each other a lot. And, and um, it's good to just let loose between takes and, and relate to one another that way. Tori Daviato, it's almost like DeVito except with an extra T. We all have really good chemistry, and I know that sounds cheesy and like you're supposed to say it and stuff, but seriously, like, Brooke and David and Ben, like, we get along so well, and we all laugh a lot. Like, I just think they're the funniest people ever. That's how crazy those guys are. And it's gonna be one of the most hardcore horror action sequences ever put on film. It's gonna be crazy. Hook in the mouth, dragging bodies, burning buildings. Oh, that's a different movie. Different movie. <laughs> People love to be scared. People secretly People love to be on the edge of their seats because we know we release adrenaline and it's exciting. People like getting scared and it's put you on the edge and you know this sort of this mythology of you know supernatural creatures after you. Like this guy that you know this this thing that can never be killed. Where you're fighting for your life and you've got an undead corpse after you. Seeing someone get killed. I mean it's basically that, isn't it? Is it the bad guys? No. Is it the, the drama? No. It's watching people get killed. <laughs> You have a morbid fascination with them, and I do too, and that's fun. They're fun, like, keeps you on the edge of your seat and to have it, like, stick with you, you know, and they're just, like, fun and fun, fun. I take back everything I previously said. <laughs> Well, it is, but it's also you have to internalize with some of these roles. I've played Michael Myers in Halloween 5, and you know, a lot of times I'm not able to talk, so you have to show everything with physical exaggerations, you know, and gestures. You know, so you make that character come alive. The kids are great. The kids want to do all their own stunts. Some of them, you know, we allow them to do whatever they can. But, the, you know, it, 
years ago I did special effects makeup myself, you know, and so I kind of know what goes through the process of doing it. So um, doing that, you kind of take on those characteristics. You start looking at it in the mirror, and you start changing just a little bit. Okay, you know that maybe he would be this way, and you create a character by the way that it looks because it's not you anymore. Horror film has to be like an amusement ride, you know, like being on a roller coaster, right? And you know that it's controlled, you know that it's all for fun, but you can be in there and be scared for that 90 minutes, and, you know, it's fun, you know, and people like to be scared. That's why they go on the roller coaster, that's why they go to the horror films, you know, and they like to be shocked, they like to see something that's a little bit different, and, you know, I try to give the fans what they want. And like I said, you know, I'm a pretty physical guy, so I like to go out and bust them up. <laughs> and action. Well, this is uh, a movie that requires a lot of blood. So we've been doing different kinds of blood effects, uh, bleeding, wounds, um, people being impaled, uh, things like that. One, two, three. have a lot of uh, different blood gags where uh, people will be stabbed. And the easiest way is just to run a tube. They do a hollow hook. Blood comes out here. Simple as that. Some of them are uh, cut in half. So it looks like Sorry, yeah. there's actually a penetration here. Character name uh, Zoe in the film gets it's a hook in the uh, stomach. This bleeds. This is going to tear up. We're going to pump blood, and it should shoot straight out as a fisherman kills her. Nice. Yeah. Close in on her. Close in on her.
curb. What's that? Action and shadow and fisherman. All right, asshole, on the ground. Hands on your head. Hands up for your dead man. Bam. Doctor, yeah. how far how far left can you pan? From here. Careful with the door. Uh, okay. uh, by the time she starts moving, never, uh, don't shoot him. Don't I don't want to see him. How about his shadow? Can we feel his shadow? Okay, thank yeah. you. Here you go. Just, just on for real. On, just hold still. Very uh, still, because there's yeah. shadow issues. Hold very still until I cue you. Okay. You're gonna have to overlap your action a little bit back before he shows up, which means you gotta give me the scream when you see Lance get killed. Just pass camera. No, don't stop that. Copy that. Overlapping that. Yeah. <laughs> we are. Here we go. Holy. Thank you.
Get any on you? Well done, well done. Well done. That was, that was some puree for you, right? I'm always thinking it was. with you now!